what would be a case against my position? And um, voila, uh, I find one, an article written by a fellow named Dan McLaughlin. It's called Why the Right Can Never Fight Like the Left. And so I want to make, uh, I want to go through some of his uh, key points and uh, comment on them. First of all, he makes the point that um, that um, there's a kind of a difference between a criminal and a policeman. And he goes, he's using the analogy, the criminal is the guy on the left, the policeman is the guy on the right. And I think he wants to make the point that the policeman cannot be like the criminal. But this point kind of backfires, I think, on Dan for the simple reason that the policeman, yes, has to follow the law. But it's also the case that the policeman, like the criminal, uses force. In fact, the policeman needs to have superior force to the criminal, and the policeman has to be more adept, and I would argue in some ways more ruthless, in the use of force than the criminal. Um, but I, I agree with Dan when he says we're fighting for different things. And so he says, of course, our methods must be different. The reasons are not only moral, they are also practical. Now, the moral reasons that he gives are the conventional ones, which is stuff that you hear very often from Republicans with things like we are people of principle and therefore we have to stand on principle, we're better than that, um, and so we can't bring ourselves to do the stuff that the left is doing. Uh, I think that uh, a lot of these claims uh, don't really make any sense uh, because, quite frankly, if you have high principles and those high principles are at stake and you are experiencing an attack on those principles that's trying to decimate those principles, by and large, if you really believe in your principles, you're going to adopt pretty much any means necessary to defeat the attack. A really good example of this is the Civil War. Again, something that Dan mentions, he quotes um, more than once some uh, statements uh, uh, from Lincoln about the need to follow uh, laws and the need not to use force and the need to conform to the law. But all of this was delivered at least a decade before the Civil War. I think it's probably not an exaggeration to say that once the Civil War broke out, uh, Lincoln pretty much went to the Dinesh strategy, which is to say uh, to use whatever means are necessary to defeat the opposition. Uh, 